Whatever is has already been, and what will be has been before, and God will call the past to account. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 15, Holy Bible. We like to think that the things we do wrong can be easily left behind in the haze of the past. But the past has a way of catching up to us. As one Herbie Wells is about to discover, the haze is only temporary. So begins this chronicle. Herbie Wells. Good, good Lord, do you know what time it is? Wait, I'm real sorry, but you gotta let me in. It's an emergency. Uh, emergency? What, what kind of emergency? Are you drunk or something? I mean, I haven't seen you since high school and you picked the middle of the night to show up on my doorstep. Why don't you call me for lunch sometime? Well, look, I was hoping we could keep this social. Well, since you put it that way. Make yourself comfortable, Herbie. Can I offer you anything? Coffee, tea, small caliber ammunition. You're alone? Not alone as I'd like to be right now. At least you haven't lost your sense of humor. M maybe that's why I came here. You've, you've always been pretty mild-mannered. Even a gun-toting old classmate can't upset you. Well, maybe not, but I wouldn't say it's much fun either. Do you always wander the old neighborhood loaded for bear, or is this a special occasion? Look, Weena, let's put aside the jokes for a minute. I need your help. I'm in really deep trouble. No kidding. Gee, I wonder what tipped me off. Not sure if it was the sirens, or the gun, or the blood spattered on your t-shirt. Man, I don't believe this. This wasn't supposed to happen. If he'd just given me the money like I asked, everything would be fine. But no, he had to be a freaking hero. And look what that got him. I don't think I like the sound of this. Herbie, did you... Did you shoot somebody? You did it. Dear Lord in heaven, I'm, what happened? I don't know. It all happened so fast. It's just a jumble. I was at the convenience store up the street. I was just, just trying to get a little cash, that's all. And then this guy reached into the drawer. There was a gun. 
If only he handed over the money. All I wanted was the freaking money. Herbie, you can't hide here forever. And you can't keep running either. The cops are gonna find you eventually. Please, Weena, I can stay here for a while, can't I? They won't know to look here. I just, I just need time to think. Yeah, you sure do. Try thinking about the family of the guy you just killed. Or if that's too much for you, think about what will happen if I don't show up for work in the morning. You could call in sick. Half the people I work with go to my church. The last time I called in sick, I had three people show up at my door with casseroles and get well balloons. This isn't going to work, Herbie. You can't stay here. You mean to tell me you're still going to church after all these years? <laughs> I thought you were smarter than that. I'm smart enough to know that I can't get through this life without Jesus Christ. You blew him off years ago, and look where it's left you. I'm doing just fine, thanks. And I sure don't need you copying a judgmental religious attitude. It's got nothing to do with being judgmental, Herbie. It has everything to do with grace and forgiveness. And this is exactly what your life needs right now. What do you know about my life? I do what I have to do to take care of myself. None of this is my fault. Then whose fault is it? The dead guys? He got what was coming to him. What's the number one rule whenever you're being robbed or assaulted? Don't resist. Oh, I see. So now crime has rules and your victims are supposed to follow them. Tell me, wouldn't it be a lot easier if people like you simply followed the law? Especially ones like thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not kill. Then maybe we could avoid all of these messy misunderstandings. I'm glad you're getting a real laugh out of all this. I don't happen to think it's funny. They have the death penalty in the state, you know. If they catch me, I'm going to end up with a needle in my arm. Is that what you want to see happen to your old friend? So much for your grace and forgiveness. As far as your eternal soul, God does still offer grace and forgiveness. And as for your crime... Herbie, you didn't mean to shoot the guy. If you gave yourself up now, you could tell that to the cops. A good lawyer could get you off with a life sentence. You know, somehow, good lawyer, life sentence, they don't seem like a good fit to me. Well, it's better than being dead. No, no. There has to be a better way. There has to be something we're not thinking of. Maybe there's a way we can undo all this. I don't understand. What do you mean, undo all this? You killed somebody, Herbie. How do you undo that? I can't. But I'll bet we both know someone who can. Remember Doc Baedecker? Baedecker? You mean the crazy old guy who lived up in the Pratt Mansion? He was like a mad scientist in a haunted house, right out of a really bad movie. We used to TP his pine trees every Halloween when we were kids. You mean that, Doc Baedeker? Exactly. He was old way back then. He's probably dead by now. You're wrong. He's very much alive. I saw him while I was casing his house a month ago. Figuring I'd do a little late night banking. There's just no end to your resourcefulness, is there? Just shut up. Anyway, you wouldn't believe what I saw him doing. He always said he'd solve the riddle. Looks like he finally did. What riddle? What in the world are you talking about? Yeah, that's the answer. We'll go over to Doc Baedeckers, wake him up, get him to undo all this. Nine one one, please state your emergency. I've already killed one person tonight. The second one won't make things any worse. So do yourself a favor, put down the phone. That's better. Believe me, my old friend, this is all gonna work out fine. Doc Baedecker will fix it up nice and neat. Now get dressed and grab your car keys. We're going for a little ride.
What in the name of... Good evening, Doc Baedecker. Long time no see. Hope you don't mind if we visit for a bit. Herbie Wells? I don't believe it. It's been, what, 15 years? I think I liked you better with a soldering iron in your hand instead of that thing. Very funny. You're gonna find I'm good at using either one. Now let us in before I have to prove it. Obviously they didn't teach you any manners in that prep school of yours. What was your best course? Armed Assault 101? I'm warning you, old man! I'll warn all you want. I, I'm old. I'm tired. I have no patience for two-bit thugs. Now, good night! If you think I don't have the guts to blow a hole clean through your head, Doc, think again. He's not kidding, Doc. Please, just let us in. Maybe we can talk some sense into him once we're inside. My dear, you're far more optimistic than I am. Very well. So this is where you figured it all out, hey eh, Doc? Tell me about it. Tell me when you solved the riddle. Solved what riddle? That's what I asked him. Don't give me that crap. You always said you'd figure it out, and you did. I saw you do it three days ago. I looked right through the window over there and I saw it happen. So you're a two-bit thug and a peeping Tom. It's quite a resume you've built for yourself over the years. Is that the best you can do? I always thought you were sharper than that. In fact, I used to think you were really something special. It was you who were special to me. I, I never had a family of my own. You were the closest thing to a son I could ever hope for. Then you just went away. Yeah, well, things didn't work out the way I thought they would. Uh, I hate to interrupt this little soap opera. But what in blazes is going on here? Herbie was my lab assistant way back when he was in middle school. He kept the lab clean, he uh, helped me repair my equipment, even did a few experiments for me. We were close. A long time ago. Not so long ago, Doc. Not so long that I forgot what you were trying to do. Not so long that I didn't give you a chance to prove yourself to prove you weren't just some crazy old man after all. When did you find out? Three nights ago. The rabbit test. I saw you put it on the platform. And then I saw it appear on the other side of the lab before you zapped it. <laughs> Impressive. I see your observing skills haven't dimmed over the years. The whole thing happened in one five thousandth of a second. Not quite so impressive. I just needed a good set of ears. Your basement window was single pane, and you talked to yourself. So it is. And so I do. Well then, it appears that we three are the only ones on the planet who know it's possible after all. Uh, I hate to bring this up again, but I still don't know Jack about what's going on here. You didn't tell her. Tell me what? Tell you about my time machine. <laughs> You're trying to tell me that you built a time machine. Oh, get out. It's true, Weena. I saw it work. Impossible. I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, but I'm smart enough to know that time travel is impossible. Oh, not impossible at all, my dear. In fact, we're traveling through time right now. Forwards at 60 seconds a minute. Now, moving backwards or at a different speed is simply a matter of quantum level physics. So, now that you know it works, Herbie, what do you plan to do about it? Sell the story to some sleazy tabloid? Or perhaps you're just here to rob me? Well, either way, you're out of luck. Uh, Weena doesn't believe it. Neither will anyone else. And as for money, <laughs> you're looking at all my wealth. Every dime saved, every maxed out credit card, it's all invested in this equipment. Face it, kid, you've come up empty. This isn't about ripping you off, Doc. 
All I need is a favor. You leave me 15 years ago without so much as a goodbye? And show up at my house, point a gun at my head, and ask me for a, a favor? That's right. What kind of favor, I'm afraid to ask? Simple. Make it never happen. What? Make it never happen. Herbie, that doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. Doc, I want you to send me back in time. Three hours to be exact. hurt someone, haven't you? Maybe even killed someone? Why does everyone keep trying to blame this on me? It was self-defense. All I wanted was the money. <laughs> the guy went for a two-shooter from the cash drawer. A two-shooter. I didn't know whether to laugh or blow him away. Well, I can see which option you chose. Well, I heard the sirens. Must have been nearby. Maybe the convenience store up the street? The night clerk? Dear God! Herbie, he has a wife and two kids! Well, they're better off now. They've got his life insurance money. You're a lunatic! And you've got a death wish, old man. Go ahead and pull the trigger if you want for all the good it'll do. Oh, you're nothing but a fool. You know how to kill someone, but, but you don't know anything about temporal physics. What do you mean? Let me educate you. I used a quirk in the quantum theory to jump a rabbit a, a fraction of a second backwards in time. It was one of the most incredible feats in scientific history, but it was still only a fraction of a second. And you want to go back three hours? You're asking me to send a human being 54 million times farther back than I sent the rabbit? Well, that's, that's not only unthinkable, it's, it's, it's foolhardy. If you want to live, You'll find a way to do it. Wait a minute. Doc, is it possible? Could you send Herbie back that far? Is it possible that he could undo all this? Could he save that clerk's life? Hold on. Who said anything about saving this guy's life? He pulled a gun on me for pity's sake. He deserved to die. Herbie, think it through. If you could stop this murder from happening, there's no reason for you to run. Nobody would have died. Save your breath, my dear. He isn't interested in stopping his crime. He's going back to create an alibi. Bingo, Doc. You really are a bright guy. It's a beautiful plan, don't you think? While the earlier me is killing the clerk, I'll be at the police station reporting the uh, theft of my wallet. Any evidence they find at the scene won't matter. I can't be in two places at the same time. As far as any of them know, at least. What makes you think I won't go tell the story to the police? You said so yourself, Doc. Who will believe it? But in case you get any stupid ideas, well, don't forget, I'll still be around. In fact, for three whole hours, there'll be two of me. Time to send me back, old man. I mean, listen to me. It, it, it's not as simple as that. The test you saw was one of six time jumps I tried on the rabbits. It was the only one that worked. I, I don't believe you. Well, believe it. Look, I don't want you to get hurt. Herbie, I loved you like a son. Please believe me. No. You can make it work. You've got to make it work. Do it. Do it now. Herbie, don't do this. It isn't worth the risk. Oh, come on, kid. It's been a lot of years, but you, but you can't be that different. You can't have lost everything you were. Tell me there's a child inside that still cares. Even if you go back, even if you create an alibi, it won't change anything. The clerk will still die. You'll still be a murderer. You're wrong. I won't kill the clerk. The other me will do it. I'll be innocent. That's not true. You killed somebody here, in this time. What you're doing won't change that. She's right, honey. No high-tech alibi will wash his blood from your hands. Make it never happened, you said. <laughs> that's, you're asking me to take away your sin. Sorry, kid, that's not my job. That's God's work. Oh, you too? 
Cut the religious crap. I'm warning you for the last time. Send me back, or I'll blow your freaking head off! Do it now! Right, Doc. It's over. Yes, indeed, Weena. It's over. Completely over. I'm not sure what you mean. That's what I tried to tell Herbie. It's the one quirk in my time machine. It can move things through time, but it can't move them in space. You've lost me, Doc. Well, well everything is moving, Weena. The Earth turns and moves along its orbit around the Sun. That's why my rabbits never materialized in the same place. The further back I sent them, the farther away from the platform they appeared. But, but you said you only sent them back a few moments. You sent Herbie back three hours. The Earth travels through space at about, oh, 60,000 miles an hour. That would put Herbie oh, almost 200,000 miles out in space three hours ago. Oh my God. Must have been a beautiful sight. Beautiful sight indeed. History is a narrative of human failures and godly victories. We spend so much of our time trying to rewrite that narrative, to justify our part in the story, or take credit for what God has done. But in the end, we can't change it, not on our own. Whatever is has already been, and what will be has been before, and God will call the past to account. Herbie Wells tried to edit the past, only to find his story had a tragic ending. There is one truth to be found here. If we want to change the outcome of our own stories, we need to devote our lives and our energy to the divine author. So ends this chronicle.